What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Burp's Final Digest, where our music staff comes together every single Monday, and we essentially just rate and review an album together. This week, we we're focusing on Ken Carson's Project X. It's his first official album release in a world where musical versatility is practically a necessity. Ken Carson is a one-lane trap artist who just skirts by his peers on this highway of trap music. At the ripe age of 18, Carson has made a name for himself by curating a reliable and vibrant aura for new wave hip-hop evangelists. His new album, Project X, is nearly an exact replica of the 2012 film dedicated to raiders who forbid responsibilities and prioritize their hedonistic values. So let's jump right into the questions. First question, what was your level of familiarity with Carson prior to this project? And how did your opinions of him change after listening to his first full-length album? For me personally, I had only heard one track previously and that was Teen X or Teen X Baby. It was really catchy. I just found it through a Spotify algorithm one day and it stuck with me. I added it to one of my playlists. I was on to Ken Carson later than the average Cardi stan from the buzz I've seen on social media. But over the years, I've started to sprinkle him into my library. He's become one of my favorite upcoming artists that's running with this whole rage sound. The dude absolutely glides and I would consider myself very aware of him going into Project X. Quick side note, the cover art was absolutely awesome. I think it was Gunner Stall, but they absolutely killed it. I thought it was hilarious. So prior to the project, I had I had heard King Hartson a couple times because my roommate had played him and I wasn't really sold. I didn't mind it. I, I liked it a little bit, but I never liked it enough to go look into him myself. But when the album dropped, I thought I'd give it a chance and I, I'm glad I did because I really, really do like the project and, and it will definitely keep me like invested into looking on his new releases. But he's not someone that I'm like waiting for to drop. I am interested to see where he goes though after this album. Number two. Was there any track that made one of your coveted playlists? So I actually get a lot of flack for this. Um, I have never and will never use playlists. I don't know why they just, I've never found the need to and I don't feel the need to change up anything now, but Run Plus Ran, Rock and Roll and Hella are my favorite tracks of the project. I just think they hit super, super hard. And those are the ones that have been on repeat for me. The tracks that had me grooving a little bit harder than the rest, I'm gonna do this Olympic style to celebrate the Olympics or whatever. Honorable mention, Party All Day, Bronze Medal to Run Plus Ran. I thought that was awesome with the transition in the middle and everything. Silver to Hella. I thought Hella was a banger, very close to Yale in terms of like its really distorted rage sound. And then I thought what Who's Next, the tight or the opening track, was my favorite on it, and that would get the gold medal. Where would you like to see a young artist like Carson go from here? Do you want him to stay in a trap-centric lane, or do you want him to expand his horizons? Okay, I was pleasantly surprised with the album because I felt it was very impressive for him carrying across a full-length project. For me, wasn't it raised? Uh, my favorite tracks by Carson are still Yale and Teen X Babe. I felt like the floor was raised for him, and ultimately, like the average enjoyment level for me was probably higher than it was on his last three EPs. So moving forward with Teen X, aka Boy Barbie, aka Ken Carson, I would really like to see him collaborate with others outside of his camp. And there's like a lot of big names uh, messing around with him right now. Uh, besides Cardi, obviously, but I would love to see him reach out and work with the peers upcoming right now in the underground, like people like Vago and stuff like that, and expand on his small catalog of songs with other people. A lot of it's solo, so I'd love to see him. And hopefully for his next project, I hope he partners with a producer that can help take his sound to the next level like Cardi did with Pierre on Die Lit. Just someone who can, who shares the vision of what the project, project's going to be and can handle most of the production work. Uh, but in the meantime, I really need to hear Ken Carson produced by Love. Uh, uh, filthy. That's what I'm looking forward to. I don't know. I want to see. I want to see Ken Carson get a little bit experimental because he is kind of that one lane trap artist, and I just don't see this working for a very long time period. But I do see him as someone who is kind of like a moldable artist in terms of like they can adapt to really any track. For example, Chief Keep on Nobody and Hold My Liquor. Kanye used him on those tracks perfectly, and I think Ken Carson's actually one of those people that they can do. So if other artists recognize that, I think that'll actually lengthen his career, and that could actually provide him kind of a stepping stone to venture into new avenues that he would have naturally not been able to.